Welcome to the collections tutorial. This tutorial will cover four different topics. First, we'll look at adding content to Lightbox 3. Secondly, we'll look at creating a collection screen with that content. Next, we'll be creating themes for collection screens. Then lastly, we'll briefly look at creating a menu. To access the manager, hold the bottom left of the screen for 5 seconds. You will now see a series of options. Choose Launch Manager and input your PIN. The default PIN is 874100. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to reset the Lightbox data and start creating a collection screen from fresh. The first step in creating a collection screen is to upload the content we want to display. This is done in the library. We can simply drag and drop our media files like so. Files can be quickly organized via options at the top of the screen. For more info on that, check out the Lightbox overview video. Now we have our content uploaded, let's make a start on our first collection screen. On the screen tab, press the plus icon and select collections. As you can see our collection screens are split into three different tabs. The first tab we'll go through is general. We can first rename the screen at the top. We can then choose a background image from our library that we just imported. After selecting a background we can choose the opacity. We can also set a title and description and link it to a theme. We'll talk about the theme later. Next is the media tab. This is where we select the media to display in this collection. You can change the order like so. Lastly we have the layout tab. Here we can adjust a number of layout options. It gives us a lot of control over how the collection will look. The side panel lets you alter the font size and the location of the panel. The panel can be docked or changed to a floating panel by setting the margins. The collection items themselves can be changed in size in the tiles section. You can also adjust the label settings here or choose to hide them completely. The grid section provides further control over the media items such as the scroll direction and padding options. Press save once you're finished. 
You can make multiple collection screens in this way. Here's some I made earlier. The theme section is where you're able to further customise how your content is presented in the viewer. The default theme applies to all of your screens as standard. You can edit this theme if you want, or create a completely new one to apply to individual screens, or even set to the new default. Today we're going to work on a new one. Click the plus icon, or simply duplicate an existing theme like so. You can then give the theme a name. and also set the preview screen for this theme. For collections, the only theme options you need to worry about are general panels and thumbnails. The first tab we're going to look at is the tab we're currently in, which is called General. There are a number of options in the General tab. You can set a default background for this theme, which will be applied to every screen with this theme attached. However, it's worth mentioning you can override the theme background in the individual screen settings as we did look at earlier. The accent colours are applied to various elements within the viewer such as the scroll bar and the video seek bar. Accent colour 1 is the primary colour, whilst accent colour 2 is used for certain elements that require two colours. The next tab we're going to look at is the panel tab. The panel tab allows you to make changes to the panel colour border size and colour. And textiles. You can also customise the panel back button here. This applies to both docked or floating panels. I'm simply adding a label to my button and adjusting the size in. Changing the screen preview to none allows you to see both docked and floating panels as you customise them. Finally move into the thumbnail tab. You can customise the appearance of your thumbnails, including the border stars and labels if you have them. Here's a screen with labels on to demonstrate. You can edit the label type, weight and colour. For our screen, we're going to leave the labels hidden. Finally, in thumbnails, we can customise the audio and video icons which Lightbox automatically places above those media types. As with buttons, you can change the colour of these icons as well as other options, including the icon itself. Now that we've finished editing our theme, we need to attach it to the collection screen. Hit save once you're happy with your theme, then head to the screens tab, head to your collection screen, and under the style section choose the theme from the drop down. If you want to share multiple collection screens you'll need a menu. Let's quickly create a menu to see this in action. For more in-depth information on the menu system, check out the Attractor and Menu tutorial. There's a link in the description. Creating a menu is similar to creating a collection. Hit the plus icon in the Screens tab and select Menu. 
Here you have similar options as on a collection screen with one major difference, the menu options tab. This is where you create your menu items and essentially link to your collection screens, like so. Hit the plus icon, then select for the item to link to a collection screen. You can then set an image and also give it a label. It's that easy. You can use menu screens to create sub-menus as well. As I said before, for more information on the menu system, check out the Attractor menu tutorial. Here's my finished menu screen. Now all that's left to do is set the menu screen as the home page. This is done like so. Go to Screens, highlight the menu and select Set as Home. Users can now browse all of the collection screens. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please get in touch. For more information and other tutorials, go to blackboxav.co.uk slash lightbox. Thanks for watching.